What's good with y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video, and I just finished watching AEW Dynamite and NXT. Uh, I must say, both episodes once again was enjoyable this week. Um, I really want to get into this MJF and Cody Rose promo. It was intense. It was dope. I enjoyed the promo, and it it was funny at moments. Like it was, it was a great pom promo. MJF got some real nuclear heat and it was dope to see i love when they take time to have promos you can see like just how much they put into what they're trying to create and what they're trying to convey to the audience so we're going to get into that promo we're also going to talk about some highlights some of the pretty cool moments from nxt this week and some of the highlights from aew that i liked and oh, i'm going to discuss that as well in the video but we're going to check this out man this was an entertaining segment the whole segment the promos the cody run-in this was all entertaining as hell this is what i like to see in wrestling appreciate all the love and support on my previous videos and uh we're just trying to hit uh 10k subs bro roll the 10k let's get it <laughs> that belt looks so good it's one of the better looking belts in wrestling right now that belt just looks like a a world heavyweight championship belt i like the diamonds on it it just looks dope he's a good heel people cheer him but at the same time people boo him as well like he's he's he knows how to turn up the heel the heel heat <laughs> i love it he's so good <laughs> Jericho's good. Jericho is so good. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> love it man love it bro he's a heel but he's he's entertaining you, you can't beat someone that's entertaining like that like people want to hate him but at the same time people cheer him now this was so good this was such this was really good i like this you think it's going to be Cody. This was so good. And then you see MJF. And you hear the nuclear heel heat. He has the pyro going. Got the smokes going. Got the fireworks going. Like, yo. That was good. That's how you get, you hear the booze. Like, it's legit booze. Came out to his theme music. Bro, you got people in the front row <laughs> giving them the middle finger. That is how you portray a heel. Like, it's not many heels in WWE. And this is... This is a real heel right here. 
Like, listen to that. Listen to that. It's not too many times you hear a genuine asshole chant. So it, that's that you're doing your job. That's great. And he's good on the mic. You You got legit people mad. That is great. That's so good. And I like how he plays it up like he was looking out for him, but at the same time, he wasn't. This is so good, bro. Hey, yeah, this is this is good. This is good. This feud's going to be good. This is really going to be good, man. I'm, I'm looking forward to where they take this feud. Yeah, I, bro, you don't get crowds like this too much. <laughs> They're chanting bullshit, man. I love it, bro. This is going to be great. Good. Love it. Good. Excellent promo, man. Building even more heel heat. Love it. This I don't even know what else to say. You honestly have two of the top heels in the ring right now. They're both heels. Now this was hilarious. This inter this interchange, this uh, interaction. This was so funny. They are so stupid. <laughs> Listen, Crisscross Applesauce, I'm sure you'd really love me to join. 
your little inner circle jerk. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that is such a is it's a meme now it's so funny bro he created something he created something so dope for aew This is good. <laughs> it's funny because I think that you might want to be a little bit like Chris Jericho. Is that true? Hmm. <laughs> so good, man. We're both from Long Island. Both have three letter nicknames. Both love <laughs> three letter nicknames. Crushingly handsome. It's almost like your parents got horny when they were watching me beat up Hoover Tube Guerrero 25 years ago on WCW Saturday night. This was good. This was so good. This was good, man. Who the hell is This is so good, man. This is so stupid. Oh my god, yo. This is so stupid. They are so silly. They're still heels, but they got like a face appeal to them because they're entertaining. You got the crowd saying, hug it out. I knew they were going to say Cody, but it was it was so funny. See, it's so Oh my god, yo. This is this was funny. And then Cody comes out there with the the scar with the stitches. That was a nasty bump he took at uh, Full Gear, man. He was busted open. Yo, that was a nasty bump. That's going to be such a good feud, bro. Now, this was a this was a botch right there that this was a botch. I like how the announcers try to cover it up like he he doesn't have his like full bearings because he from that bump he took at full gear so he's kind of like off balance a little bit a little woozy not at 100 percent and i don't i don't know who that guy is i have no idea who that guy is i, I have no idea who he is I'm not sure who that is. Probably gonna be uh, MJF's muscle. Not sure, but like I said, it this was that whole little segment was entertaining. I just love the interaction. It's not too many times that heels are as entertaining like that, um, especially in WWE. They don't really have any good heels. These are heels that you want to see them lose, but they also have charisma. So you. Like they know how to make you hate them, but they also know how to make you enjoy them at the same time. So I enjoyed that segment. It was cool. Looking forward to seeing what MJF and uh, and uh, Cody Rhodes where this feud goes. Looking forward to seeing what happened. Um, 
another highlight of the show. Another highlight of the show um, was this backstage brawl with Santana and Ortiz against the Young Bucks. When I say it was dope, it was entertaining, didn't know what was going on. They're just continuing their feud from full gear. And the best part, they're fighting. And uh, I'm not sure which one it is, which one of the Young Bucks. He pretty much gets thrown to, through this restroom door. And you see Orange Cassidy with his hands in his pocket with the shades on in the restroom, chilling, looking cool. <laughs> and, and I like, I'm not sure who it was. I'm not sure if it was Santana Ortiz, but he closes the door slow. He like, he looks in the restroom. He's like, oh, all right. He closes the door slowly. Wow. Orange Cassidy's just sitting there looking cool. <laughs> and then he gets super kicked. Oh man, it was so dope. And then afterwards, the brawl spills out into the ringside area. <laughs> Uh, one of the young bucks get thrown through the table. It was a dope little spot, man. I'm liking this feud. The uh, private party comes out there. They come out there trying to um, tangle with uh, Santana Ortiz. They're trying to hop into the mix, fight with them. It, it was dope, man. I'm, I'm liking, I'm liking where the tag team scene is going. And then at the end of the show, uh, you have uh, Jericho. And Sammy Guevara, Guevara uh, go against SC, uh, SCU, and they end up losing. And actually, Jericho gets the pin. He eats the pin, and that's his first technical loss on AEW. I'm not sure why they had a title opportunity match given to them, but he ends up eating a pin, and he was furious with his dad bod. You can see the dad bod in full effect. He was throwing the chair all slow and shit. Like it was, it was cool. I enjoyed it. Uh, for the most part, AEW for me, um, uh, it was a decent show for me tonight. It, it was decent. I, I definitely probably get like a 7 out of 10 for me. That promo uh, and that backstage brawl was the highlight for me. Now, let's get into NXT. I really enjoyed NXT, man. NXT really had some some exciting stuff going on with, on with, with that show. You had... Um, Finn Balor come out there and basically cut kind of a similar promo he cut a couple weeks ago talking down on uh Tommaso Ciampa not Tommaso Ciampa uh talking down on uh uh Johnny Gargano he's talking about him he was talking about uh Matt Riddle Matt Riddle comes up from behind start laying the smack if down start beating his ass <laughs> he was beating his ass man it, it was enjoyable um and they're setting up a feud for war games. So instead of it being Johnny Gargano, it's going to be Matt Riddle versus uh, Finn Balor. That's going to be a good match. I'm looking forward to that at war games. War games is looking real stacked. And since he's not going to be part of Tommaso Ciampa's uh, team, they included uh, Dominic uh, Dijakovic. I think I pronounced it correctly. They included him in their in their in their squad and from what i know him and keith lee have a nice little rivalry they had some pretty in pretty good matches so they they you know they're putting a set uh they're putting a set they're putting aside the rivalry so they can take on undisputed because undisputed is pretty much just running havoc on nxt obviously they have all the gold and then you have uh mia yim uh, going against uh, Io Shirai in a ladder match, and I'm guessing it was for uh, I didn't get to see all of it, but I think it was for who was going to be a part of Shayna Baszler's squad. I'm not sure. I think that's what it was. I could be wrong. I'm not sure. Correct me if I am. That match was pretty cool uh, when I was able to check that out. That spot that me and him took, it looked like it hurt her falling from the top of the ladder all the way down to the floor through another ladder that looked brutal even for a woman to take that that was brutal she looked like she was in real pain she wins the match with the help of the uk champion uk nxt champion and you see Shayna baszler come out there greet her squad you know what i'm saying for war games and then all of a sudden 
all of a sudden she gets blasted in the back by uh bailey with a chair gets a fake and then uh bailey basically uh i don't know what the move is called but she basically face planted her into an nxt championship i like that because she's been getting attacked by Shayna baszler on uh on SmackDown, she's been getting attacked for like two weeks in a row, so it was cool to see Bailey get her 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 revenge on that. And I think um, they're going with the storyline that uh, uh, Shayna Baszler's like two of her her two of her um, her friends that was supposed to be in a war game match they got attacked outside at NXT, like in the parking lot. So I think it's I think it's kind of alluding that Bailey was a part of that attack. I knew it was somebody from the main roster that attacked them. So they were she was needing some partners. So I think that's what happened there. So storyline wise, Bailey attacked her two friends then attacked her. I'm guessing. I could be wrong. Let me know if y'all know anything more about that. So um, for me, uh, I'm gonna actually give NXT the the higher rating this week. I will give it, I will give it an eight for me personally. There's a lot more things I enjoyed. It, they're really building up to War Games, and I can't wait to see War Games. It's gonna be entertaining as hell. Also, I do know CM Punk. He was on the backstage segment uh, for WWE with Fox. Um, it was cool to hear his little theme music for him to come out. That was dope. I know people wanted me to check it out. It was like a one-minute clip, but I did see it. It was cool to see him back in just in the WWE capacity or whatnot. And I also found out that Seth Rollins tweeted him to fight him. And The Fiend uh, had alluded to, you know, basically wanting to tango with him like I remember. He said something like, I remember. I could be wrong, but I know they've had their history with um, the nexus and just uh the wyatt family feud a couple years back with cm punk and seth please stay away i know it's they're joking about it please keep away from cm punk no i don't no no seth is a, a shell of a wrestler a shell of his former self no just if anything i i really want him to be off tv so he can come back with a fresh start reinvent himself maybe go heal but right this stuff right now no cm punk shouldn't even waste his time so but i did see that just want to let you guys know so for me nxt gets an 8 out of 10 aew 7 out of 10 have to give the dub the edge to a uh, to nxt this week they put on a very entertaining show but i want to get y'all opinion let me know which show y'all enjoyed more this week are you looking forward to nxt war games but I appreciate y'all kicking in with me. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.